Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. Happy Good Friday. Uh, it's a little cold out here today, but I'm happy to be outside anyway. Hope you're well. Um, and uh, you made it to another Friday. I don't know what church is behind me, but I have a, a church that lets me know what time it is every day. And um, I'm back here on my back porch where I have an arch enemy. There's a squirrel that likes to come and take all of my bird seed. And now I'm completely out and he knows I'm back here and is hiding, but I know he's watching me. So um, it is Good Friday and it's good to be with you. Um, have a few things to share with you today um, and uh, see if I can pull this up. I want to um, begin this morning by giving you a few announcements um, and just talk to you about a few things. First of all, I want to thank all of you who um, sent videos in for Easter Sunday. We have a lot of videos and I'm really looking forward um, to putting all that together. We're super indebted to uh, Joe Delise. He's really the a backbone of getting all of our social media up and all of our website and all of our worship services. So please um, remember to thank him um, through an email or a text. Um, we really couldn't do anything we do without him. Um, so thanks to all of you who sent those little messages of he is risen or he is risen indeed. And also, um, I want to thank um, all of you for attending last night's Monday Thursday service. I wonder how you felt that went, what you felt about it. It was an experiment. I'd never done that before. And um, I enjoyed seeing all of you face to face. It was really, really, really good to see so many people. Um, there were, at the, in the Good Friday service last night, a lot of people lifted up prayers um, for individuals or family. And I just want to share those prayers with you today. If you would uh, begin your morning prayer thinking about some of these people and lifting them up in prayer. A lot of people mentioned that um, family members and friends have had other health issues come up during this time. And a lot of people um, talked about families or friends that are grieving, um, just general uh, loss of um, of people that have died or uh, who've become ill and just their concerns for them. So if you would remember um, the Grenda family who um, have lost a good friend, the Reinhold family, Dennis's brother passed away and so they're, they lift up prayers for his uh, sister um, and their family as they kind of grieve in isolation. The Broad family and also the Cownan family um, have lost a family member. So if you would remember all of them and just other friends and family who have, um, are just struggling with ongoing health issues and, um, and loss during this time. Um, lots of people mentioned last night prayers for healthcare professionals and those who are working on the front lines during this time. Uh, so I know you are remembering them in prayer as well. And we have quite a few folks in our congregation who are also uh, serving in that capacity. And then, um, of course, we, we do have folks in our community and in our congregation who are, are um, dealing with unemployment, uh, temporary unemployment during this time and uh, kind of walking through the um, process of, of filing for unemployment. So um, please remember them as well. So I have some really good news. I'm super excited to tell you um, that on the mission side and the service side of things, we uh, raised over $9,000 that will go towards um, food distribution towards the community. We we were supposed to raise 6,000 and we raised nine and that was in a collaboration with um, with uh, congregations of every kind, um, Hindu, Muslim, Buddhist, Jewish, um, and uh, Christ all different Christian denominations, um, and then in conjunction with Merciful Help. So we raised um, 
total, um, we, we were needed to raise 25,000, I believe, and we were supposed to contribute at least six, and we went over that. So that was really um, a lovely thing that we've been able to do just this week. I want to remind you that Jenny um, is, is still organizing drivers. If you or anybody knows anybody who's up for, who needs a driver for any reason uh, to help with groceries or to pick things up. And then also Jenny has organized um, all of the youth. They'll be delivering lilies. So if you ordered a lily or if you know someone who needs a lily or wants a lily, we have 90 lilies to, um, to hand out. So um, please uh, let Jenny know if you want a lily or um, if you, I think she has enough drivers, but if you would like to help drive and support a, uh, and drop off a lily to somebody, um, you can let Jenny know that. So my last announcement is, as you know, today is Good Friday. And um, so we have our Good Friday service at seven o'clock tonight and that will come to you via email. Um, and then Easter service will come to you via email at 9 um, uh, at, on Sunday morning. So, um, so I've been thinking, you know, about Good Friday. Obviously, it's today, and it's a just a different Holy Week all along. And um, and uh, how do we how do we acknowledge Good Friday today um, in a time when? When we're a little more aware of death than we normally like to be, we're a little more close to that than we like to acknowledge. We're feeling a little more vulnerable. And so, you know, often people don't really want to think about Good Friday. They kind of want to avoid it. They want to jump to the parade, as I like to say. They like to just go from parade to parade, from the Palm Sunday parade to the Easter parade. Um, but as you know, um, you cannot celebrate Easter without celebrating um, Good Friday. You just uh, can't recognize how good Easter feels if, if you don't go all the way to the cross. And so I wanted to uh, share a psalm for Good Friday today. Um, and... Uh, wanted to just um, offer that to you this morning. It's Psalm 22. My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Why art thou so far from helping me from the words of my groaning? Oh my God, I cry by day, but thou dost not answer, and by night, but find no rest. Yet thou art holy, enthroned on the praises of Israel. In thee our fathers entrusted. They trusted, and thou did deliver them. To thee they cried, and were saved. And in you they trusted, and they were not disappointed. But I am a worm, and no man, scorned by men, and despised by the people. All who see me mock at me, and make mouths at me, and they wag their heads. He committed his cause to the Lord. Let him deliver him. Let him rescue him, for he delights in him. Yet thou art, art he who took me from the womb. Thou did keep me safe upon my mother's breast, and upon thee I cast from my birth, and since my mother bore me, thou hast been my God. Be not far from me, for trouble is near, and there is no one to help. Many bulls encompass me, strong bulls of Bashan surround me. They open wide their mouths at me like a ravening and roaring lion. I am poured out like water, and all my bones are out of joint. My heart is like wax and is melted within my breast. From thee comes my praise in the great congregation. My vows I will pay before those who fear me. The afflicted shall eat and be satisfied, and those who seek him shall praise the Lord. May our hearts live forever. All the ends of the earth shall remember and turn to the Lord. All families of nations shall worship before him. Yea, to him shall all the proud 
of the earth bow down. Before him bow all who go down to the dust, and he who cannot keep himself alive. Posterity shall serve him. Men shall tell of the Lord to the coming generation and proclaim his deliverance to a people yet unborn, that he has wrought it. That's Psalm 22. And it's the typical psalm that's read on this day, on this Good Friday. And it quotes the scripture that Jesus said. So Jesus knew this scripture and said it when he died on the cross. My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? It's the most vulnerable prayer of all. It's the most honest prayer, I think. And of course, Jesus has his prayer answered in which God says, I have not forsaken you. I am right here with you. So during this holy week and these holy days, these uh, triidium, it's called, these three days of Monday, Thursday, and Good Friday, Holy Saturday, and Easter Sunday, I hope that you can find time to sit in the silence of the cross and focus on God in your life. And if you have moments of despair or just bewilderment of it all, which I think is really normal, I hope it is because I feel that sometimes, just know that you're not alone in that moment, that God is uh, with you in that silent moment of wondering and that God will bring you through it and take you to the other side. It was really, really good to see all of you last night and I'm struggling a little bit with how to preach an Easter sermon um, to, uh, to just Joe Delise, <laughs> who I'm grateful for to be at least in the sanctuary with me um, today when I preach it. But I just want you to know that you'll be on my heart and you'll be in my mind and I'll be imagining you all there. Um, so we'll, uh, we'll have this Easter experience together. So let's pray. Holy and gracious God, we lift up to you all the people that we've named in our hearts and out loud today. We thank you, God, that you walk with us to the cross to our cross and that we have the privilege and the humility to walk with you on your journey. So we pray today for all those who walk into hospital rooms. We pray today for all those who walk in places of unknown territory. We pray for the world in which we live, the questions that go unanswered, and the vulnerability of being human. Wrap us together in your embrace. Let us be a community of faith in very visual ways. Help us proclaim the gospel in ways that put us outside of our comfort zone and that allow us to be your people and to be your church alive in the world. Bless us this Holy Friday, we pray. Amen. There's a cardinal that just came and is sitting right in front of me. A little sign of the Holy Spirit. If I turn my camera around, maybe you can see him. Peace, everyone. God bless you. Have a great day. Stay warm.